Welcome back to Crazy Cheap 2S Lipo Battery Week wrap-up video here on Jesse B Motors. First off, I would like to thank all y'all for watching the videos this week. I've really enjoyed talking to you and getting your feedback on all the videos this week. You guys have been great, and I just want to say thank you to everybody out there that's watched these videos. Now, what we got is today... We're going to take all the data that we got all week long on all these batteries and we're going to combine them. I made up some graphs and we're going to take a look at those graphs here in a second. We're going to go over them and then after that I'm going to give you my opinion on the batteries and then we'll go ahead and finish out the video. So let's go ahead and start off with the first graph. First chart we're going to look at is going to be storage charge. Now if you look on top, normal per cell is 3.8 on this. So first we got Ovonic, cell 1 was 3.8, cell 2 was 3.79, with a total of 7.59. Next we got the Pavway, cell 1 was 3.88, cell 2 was 3.87, with a total of 7.76. And then next we've got the Huvo battery, cell 1 was 3.87, cell 2 was 3.86, and total was 7.74. Now all these were pretty much close to each other. So I would say these first three are going to be tied for number one. So number two, I'm going to put Goldbot. Cell one was 3.90. Cell two was 3.88 with a total of 7.79. And then last, we got Z. Cell one was 3.84. Cell 2 was 3.68, total was 7.51. Now the reason why Z is dead last is because that's a huge difference in the two cells. So that's why Z is last. And then like I said, the first three, I would consider those a tie for number one. Let's go ahead and move on to the next chart. Now we're going to take a look at the balance charge. Up on top, you can see the normal is 8.4. So first we got Ovonic, cell 1 was 4.18, cell 2 was 4.17, total was 8.37. Number 2 was Gobot, cell 1 was 4.17, cell 2 was 4.18, with a total of 8.36. Then we got Huvo, cell 1 4.18, cell 2 4.17, with a total of 8.36. Next, we got Pavway. Cell 1 was 4.17. Cell 2 was 4.16. Total was 8.34. And then last, I got the Z battery again. Cell 1 was 4.22. Cell 2 was 4.12. And the total was 8.35. Now, if you ask me if you're going by the totals on this, they all did really well on this. They did good. But if you look at individual cell balance, then I would say probably the first three would be number one, Pavle would be number two, and then Z would be number three. So let's go ahead and look at the next chart. Now we're gonna take a look at the runtime chart. Now this is where I was in my backyard and I was going full blast to the end of my property and then run it full blast back. The reason why I did that is, is heat. It would heat up the battery, it would heat up the ESC, and it would heat up the motor. And to me, that's a good test to see how the battery is going to handle it. So let's go ahead and look at the chart. Now, number one on this was Z at 9 minutes, 15 seconds. Number two was the Goldbot at 9 minutes even. Number three was Huvo at 8 minutes, 45 seconds. Number four was Ovonic at 8 minutes, 31 seconds. And then Pavway was last at 7 minutes, 45 seconds. Now, if you're out bashing, this is going to be a lot different because you're going to be on the throttle, off the throttle. So you are going to have extended times on that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next chart. Now we're going to look at the low voltage cutoff. This is where, after I was running it back and forth in my yard to get to run time, these were the cutoff numbers. I figured that'd be something cool to look at too, just to see where they're cutting out at. And I knew that my uh, Castle Sidewinder 4 ESE is said to cut off at 3.5. And if you look at the numbers from these, they're all pretty close. So let's go ahead. Number one, we got Ovonic. Cell one was 3.51. Cell two was 3.51. 
with the total being 7.03. Next we had the Pavway. Cell 1 was 3.47. Cell 2 was 3.46. Total was 6.94. Then we got Huvo. Cell 1 was 3.54. Cell 2 was 3.52. Total was 7.07. Then we had the GoBot. Cell 1 was 3.53. Cell 2 was 3.50. Total was 7.04. And then last, once again, just because of the spread of the two cells, Z with cell 1, 3.49. Cell 2, 3.45. Total, 695. Now, the one thing I do want to say about the Z on it, even though it had the biggest difference, they were a tad bit closer on that. And then, like I said, my Castle Sidewinder 4 ESC has made the cut off at 3.5. And you can see the top four on here, and actually five, they were all real close to that 3.5 cutoff. So let's go ahead and look at the next chart. Last chart we're going to look at is going to be miles per hour. This is another one I thought would just be fun to see if there was a mile per hour difference in any of the batteries. Now, all these batteries were a 50C, a Sefford Huva was a 60C. So let's go ahead and look at the numbers. Number one, we got the Huvo, and that was 36.4 miles per hour. Next, we had the GoBot, that was 35.7 miles per hour. Then we had the Pavway at 35.6 miles per hour. Then we had the Z at 35.3 miles per hour. And then we had the Ovonic at 35.1 miles per hour. Now you can see the bottom four those were all C rating. The Huva was a 60. So I think that's why there's a uh, little bit of speed difference on that. But really, on the rest of the batteries, there is not much of a speed difference at all on them. So they're all pretty even. So let's go ahead and I'll give you my final thoughts on these. Now, the first thing I want to go over now that we're done with the charts is I've had a lot of people ask again on my setup, on my Stampede, so I want to go over that real quick. I'm running a Castle Sidewinder 4 2-3S ESC, and then I'm also running a Castle 4600 KV motor in it. This is a brushless setup and has worked out great for me ever since I bought it, and it's worked really well with these batteries. So now let's go ahead and talk about the batteries. First off, I want to say all these batteries are great batteries. All the numbers are really close on them. Um, the Z battery, the numbers were off, but I am going to do a follow-up video on the Z battery. I'm going to charge it and run it a few more times and see if those cells balance out a little bit better. Because pretty much all these batteries, storage charge, balance charge, LiPo cut off and everything, were pretty close. The only one that was a tad bit off was that Z. But I've heard a lot of people say they like the Z battery. And like I said, for runtime... And for the uh, speed, it did real well. So I will do a follow-up video on that one. The only other battery I got a complaint with is this Pavway here. I don't like that balance lead. All the other ones have got this nice extension on there, which makes it really nice for plugging and unplugging in, your, in and out of your charger. But besides that, all these batteries are really great. You see the numbers, we went over them. Now I know you're all going to ask, Jesse, which battery would you pick? And the battery I would pick out of all of these if I had to pick one, and like I said, these are all great batteries, I would probably pick the Ovonic, just because all around the Ovonic had good numbers. It was last on the speed test, but if you look at the speed numbers, there wasn't that much of a difference on them. It had a decent runtime, you know, it had low miles per hour, but it balanced the cells out perfect. Everything else was perfect about it. So I would say the Ovonic would be my pick for number one. But like I said, guys, all these batteries turned out with really great numbers. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to leave a direct link down below to every single one of these batteries. So if you got a favorite out of these five, there'll be a link down below for you to check out. And then go ahead, click on it, and pick your battery up. Well, that's all I got for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you all on the next one.